Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today as we celebrate the ribbon cutting of our newest clinic, Auctioner Novant, Novant Health 65 Plus. Okay, okay, sorry. And the first in South Carolina. Uh, the clinic provides exceptional health care services to people 65 years of age and older, and it's a big part of Auctioner's commitment to bringing care close to home, in this case for our older patients. It is a moment of great pride and joy for our team and me to stand here before you to open this new patient care concept here in the Hilton Head Bluffton area. I would like to begin by recognizing our partners from Novant Health and the public officials with us today. Senator, Senator Tom Davis is with us here today. Chancellor Al Panu of the University of South Carolina at Buford. Glad to have him here. Uh, Dr. Richard Goff of the Low Country uh, Technical College, or the president of the Technical College of Low Country. Uh, Wes Newton from the South Carolina uh, House of Representatives. Mayor Larry Toomer of Bluffton. Mayor Alan Perry of Hilton Head. Mayor Joseph Malfris of Ridgeland. And Mike Zimbor, who is the uh, city manager of Hardyville. And then John O'Toole, the executive director of the Buford uh, Economic Development Corporation. And then two of our speakers today, Dennis Averkin, who is the town administrator for Ridgeland, and Bo White, the mayor pro temp of Hardyville. Today in our region and communities across the U.S., we are witnessing a significant demographic shift with an increasing number of individuals 65 years of age and older. Experts project this group to represent 22% of the population by the year 2040. This presents a challenge to healthcare providers, payers, patients, and their families. These individuals deserve specialized healthcare services that cater to their unique needs, values, goals, and preferences. This clinic is designed specifically to address the holistic version of health, including physical, mental, social, and emotional well-being of our aging community. It's much more than just a primary care clinic, though. The comprehensive program provides customized primary care and social and wellness offerings. We specialize in common conditions experienced by older adults and provide a full suite of services to address them, which you'll hear about in just a moment. These benefits extend beyond the medical to include opportunities for patients to participate in activities that match their interest in lifestyles. From cooking demonstrations to card games to arts and crafts activities to hopefully chair yoga and tai chi. It's really about a very different approach to how do we help each and every one of our patients achieve their optimal state of health and well-being by understanding them as deeply as we can including the barriers, obstacles, and challenges that stand in the way of achieving that optimal state of health. Our Oxford and Novant Health 65 plus staff also help patients obtain difficult to acquire medications to navigate the intricacies of insurance and to even obtain financial assistance or transportation if necessary. Beyond the success of any healthcare facility lies a team of dedicated and compassionate healthcare professionals. In Oxford and Novant Health 65 plus is no exception. We have assembled a remarkable team of doctors, nurses, specialists, and support staff who possess the expertise and experience required to address the unique health concerns of older adults. Our staff not only brings exceptional medical knowledge, but also understands the importance of empathy, mental health, and effective communication when caring for our older patients. And so I would like to begin introducing uh, the first of our speakers, uh, Jason Byrne of Novant, of Novant uh, 65 Plus. Thank you, Dr. Cole. As Dr. Cole mentioned, my name is Jason Byrne, and I am the president of Novant Health South Carolina Region. And we are just absolutely thrilled to be here today. And we're thrilled to become a part of this community with our recent investment in Hilton Head Hospital, Coastal Carolina Hospital. Would also like to share, we have roots at Novant Health in North Carolina, so I had an opportunity to channel our North Carolina heritage 
um, in the NASCAR themes, and we had a four-inch bolt to the tire of a rental car on the way here, and I got to change a tire on I-95 in my suit. So we are uh, already seeing some of this come together. I appreciate the safety of the drivers in the local area as we accomplish that. Uh, but we are really excited about this model with Oshner Health that they have uh, really created a, create a place for our 65 plus populations to receive remarkable care. And as we talk to the local CEOs here, Joel Taylor from Hilton Head Hospital is with us, and Ryan Lee from Coastal Carolina Hospital, one thing they talk about is a real need for primary care in this community. And we are so excited about this opportunity of connecting the local community to those needs and really, our desire at Novant Health is to create healthier futures and to bring remarkable patient resilient experiences to life. We believe this partnership is a great way to begin that journey as we invest in this community, as we all work together moving forward. So at this time, I would like to introduce Rachel Permis, who will come up. She's the medical director for our 65 Plus, and she'll talk a little bit more about the clinics. Thank you, Rachel. I'm excited to be here this morning and see everyone's smiling faces and enjoying this beautiful weather, especially as I traveled in from New York for this. So thanks to whoever made this happen. Um, so here at Oshner and Novant Health 65 Plus, we're driven by a strong vision to empower older adults in the community to live healthy, fulfilling lives. And I think that deserves a pretty big cheer. So you guys did a good job then, but let's do it louder now. never be a barrier to accessing top quality health care and that our patients are the star of the show. Our multidisciplinary team to create and provide a custom care plan just for them. We recognize the importance of creating a strong relationship between patients and providers and that's at the heart of what we're doing through our program. Our care model allows extended time, one-on-one -on -one time with our doctors, um, with gives us time to talk, listen, and plan the best path forward. And we have our docs here today, Dr. Gail Dr. James Myers, and Dr. Bobby Galmard. So not only do we have these fantastic doctors, but we offer a full range of services, including balance sessions to help with fall prevention, basic labs, health coaching, hearing and vision screening, immunizations, mental health counseling, and physical therapy, and much, much more. Beyond traditional healthcare services, we're proud to offer our participants opportunities to get involved in activities that match their lifestyle and interests. So here, the patients really set the goals of care. We don't tell them what we want. We help them figure out what they want and make sure that they achieve it. In addition, our fitness center, um, we offer social events and activities such as guest speakers, arts and crafts, like Dr. Cole said, cooking demonstrations, chair yoga, and Tai Chi. You'll find many exciting opportunities to get involved and stay active when you come here. I'm excited to welcome our patients to see Oshner and Avant 65 Plus and see what we have to offer. I think it's truly unlike anything they've experienced before, and I keep pinching myself that I get to be involved in this amazing care model because it's truly transformative um, and pretty, pretty dang amazing. Uh, with that, I'm going to give it back to the man, uh, the legend, Dr. Cole himself. Thank you so much, Dr. Cruz. Thank you, Jason. Uh, I'm, I'm excited uh, to be here today. So. What I'd like to introduce now is um, the mayor, pro temp of Hardyville, uh, Mr. Bill White. I'll be brief. Uh, we want to welcome you to Hardyville, to Jasper County, and to Ridgeland. For the group of us that are in the 65 and older category, I'll be there in 10 more years. Just kidding. Uh, we, uh, we welcome this specialized care and the assessment and the programs that will really help all of us. And so on behalf of the seniors, welcome. We look forward to your care and your advice. And uh, thank you for being part of our community. Okay. And 
And so now uh, I would like to uh, introduce the town administrator of Ridgeland, Mr. Dennis Severkin. Good morning, everybody. Uh, what a beautiful day. Uh, and I want to thank the folks at uh, Oxner for inviting us. Uh, Mayor Malfers couldn't make it today, so they sent me your stuff with me today. And I'll be brief. Um, one thing that we noticed when we talked to the people here was that this is a very different approach and something very unique. So I think we are thrilled to have them here in our community. Uh, Ridgeland is a very underserved community, which is kind of surprising even though we're 20 minutes north. We, you know, we only have one general practitioner in, in Ridgeland Town Limits, so we're thrilled to have Austin here. But uh, what a beautiful facility. Um, and, and I feel honored to be here today to uh, not only tour the facility, but to meet uh, the dedicated professionals who are here uh, who will help make this place special. So again, to echo uh, those comments, uh, we welcome you to the community and we're thrilled to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Miles from the Hilton Head Island Bluffton Chamber of Commerce, and uh, welcome. It's great to be here on such a beautiful day. Uh, on behalf of the entire group, welcome to the medical team. Uh, it's a super fine day. You think about when you take two like-minded companies that come together uh, with the vision and the leadership of Dr. Cole, uh, and then uh, you bring a great partner like Novant in, Mr. Byrne, great things can happen. And as we've heard, the, the need for uh, uh, patient care is urgent and critical, and we're delighted to have each of them in the community. I'd also be remiss if I didn't take a minute to mention uh, uh, Bill Harkins, Mayor Pro Tem of Hilton Head for probably 15 years, who set out on a mission uh, guided by council to help recruit additional health care to the industry, to the area. So, Bill, thank you to you. And then lastly, Mr. Byrne, thank you to you uh, in uh, Novant's investment in the region and in South Carolina. It's uh, truly appreciated, and I'm looking forward to great things and watching you and Dr. Cole's company grow. Thank you. So not necessarily remembering everyone's name, unfortunately, but uh, that is not something that's going to happen to any of the patients of 65 plus because we will get to know them very, very deeply. Um, and so, um, again, it's, it's really just wonderful to have you all here today. We look forward to all that we're going to accomplish together in this great community. But we do encourage you to please stay, take a tour of this clinic, enjoy refreshments. We have breakfast inside mingle uh, any patients who would be interested in uh, potentially signing up we are you know taking patients already please uh, go to the front desk they, they will gladly uh, help you get signed up or get a loved one signed up uh, but for now this concludes our program thank you all again for being here today as we celebrate this momentous beginning of Ochsner and Novant Health 65 plus clinic thank you Oh, and join us for the ribbon cutting in the front. One, two, three. We are opening up a new advanced primary care clinic uh, that is a different approach to primary care. It consists of a multidisciplinary team of people who are truly surrounding a patient in a patient-centric way. We'll have licensed clinical social worker, we will have health coaches and RN care managers, um, all working in partnership with a physician. The physician will, uh, we provide longer visits, uh, so 40 minute visits, which uh, our goal is not to get people in and get them out, it's to get people in and get them healthy and keep them healthy. And um, why is it important to have something like this in this area? 
in this area because it, it is an underserved area. There, there's, uh, I've been told by at least one of the mayors today that there was like one general practitioner to serve many thousands of people. Uh, even in this clinic alone, we're already bringing three physicians uh, just to this clinic with, with uh, at least a, a fourth one to come. And so uh, primary care in general is in shortage, uh, is in short supply everywhere, and this area is no exception. A lot of this getting in to see doctors is tough, and then when we get there, a lot of times they're not focused on people that are 65 and older and what unique health care issues they have. So this is another resource close to us, close to our retirement communities, and it could be more welcome for all of us. Folks that were here represent larger groups, so tremendous outpouring of welcome to a 65 plus, and I think they'll do a remarkable job over the years. Is there anything else you would like to say? No, just uh, grateful they're here. I was glad to be here, and uh, I'm excited. I plan to be uh, a patient here myself.